You act on physical attraction that's mutual, knowing the other person is with someone and risk the consequences, or leave it alone knowing there's something there. So basically, do you act on do you act on the physical attraction despite the consequences, or do you leave it alone knowing you're missing out on something? That'd I mean, let's better. just say they're a friend and. You guys got this good chemistry, you're feeling each other's vibe and mutually are attracted to each other. She's with someone, so you're kind of hesitant. You both want it, but the consequences might outweigh the benefit. Worse for them, because they're the one in the relationship. I'm single, so if it's there, I'm, I'm probably, I mean, I'm ready to go, go for it. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the saying like, if someone will cheat on someone with you, they'll cheat on you with someone else? Yeah. Say I'm the guy, and you and you and my girlfriend are like, like you go somehow I leave, and you guys like have a brilliant conversation, you know, that's that ends up being pretty passionate or whatever, and like, but at the end, in the back of your mind, you know that like I'm still with her, like, aren't you gonna be hesitant anyways? Like, well, is, that'd be different because like. You're the homie, so I want to, you know, do that to you. So you, so okay. If I didn't know the guy that she's with, that changes the fact that he's still a vulnerable human being that, like, has feelings too, and you know, I. Maybe I'm doing him a favor by getting him out of this relationship with, that a, with a girl that you're attempting to pursue. <laughs> but if the connection's right. there, and you know, you, obviously you both are feeling each other, and. You know, like it, it is a little bit passionate and productive. Then, I mean, you know, it might open her eyes even more about the relationship. That because there's a reason that you guys are talking. Yeah. Like obviously she's not, you know, super committed anymore. On uh, yeah. I'm, and if you, and if you respect gonna... her relationship enough to like wait until she deals with that, then it could be a productive thing. But some things are just inevitable. It's like you know that collision course that you're bound to, it's bound to happen and you just can't control it because you're both moving in the same direction at a fast pace and yeah. hanging out together and things might happen. People that are in relationships for a long time, you know, they're not used to this flirting thing, you know, and it's somebody new, you know what I mean? So they can sometimes jump ship and just be like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't know what I was doing dating with this person for so long when you've walked into my life and have changed my perspective on life and blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, what's the word? It, it's uh, they kind of fall head over heels. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Or maybe you're out of state and that person's out of state, and your significant other's in another state and stuff like that. Like I can see that happening more in like long distance stuff. You know what I mean? Like it would be easier to kind of to go about doing it because yeah, you're not in the same right. Yeah. That person's never in the picture. They're not physically present, You're in so the it's picture. easier to kind yeah. of deal with in that sense. So if you met a guy at work and stuff, like, and he was dating somebody for two years, but he like started pouring his heart to you, would you even consider it? You know yes. what I mean? Whoa. Wait, well, what? Wait, hold on. If yeah. I knew, okay, if I knew someone and then they just like poured their heart to me into my even room. if they dating somebody for a long time? Yes. I will be honest with you. So I had a friend that went through that same situation and that person um, was very sweet and kind and they hit it off and it was great. But the problem was that he didn't tell her that he was engaged. The problem with that was that he had already kind of professed all of how he cared for the person so there was already a connection built from that. Now did she find out or did he tell? He, uh, she found out and confronted him and then he told her. Awkward. I would like, listen into it, but I think there's just, right. I wouldn't I wouldn't act on it, I guess. If we had well, to did, answer he get, directly did your to friend break it off after that? No. Ooh. So it continued for how long? Did the person stay engaged? Are, are they after married? After all of that? Yeah. Do you know? He, he believes so from... Well, that just, that's 
literally the question. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just, I think Louise. with that story alone, how I, how I view that answer for me knowing that is just, it's better to know, but not act on it. Um, I would hate it. I would be upset because um, it's just knowing the idea that, you know, you guys are, could work really well with each other. That would like eat me up. But I think I would rather have that than have the guilt of knowing I helped cheat for somebody right. else to have my own so my you, own satisfaction. So you said you would keep it like in. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I would just That's the in. smart thing to do. And another thing too though, a key aspect of your friend's story is that she didn't know initially. Yeah. But the problem is it doesn't make up for the fact that it kept going after no. she found out. So it even yeah, out. It, you know it's, what it's I mean? like contradicting in a way. <laughs> yeah. Like a quick side note is that like I'll, you know, sometimes you hear your parents' story about how one of your parents left their significant other back in the day for their yeah. parents and look where they are now. So I am saying that, you know, sometimes it does work out. If you really think about the question, most people are going to be like, oh my gosh, I would never do that or blah, blah, blah. That is terrible. Which but no, it, it I mean, happens a lot. Like it happens, not saying it's okay, but it happens a lot and sometimes it can lead to like I just think it's one of those things big. that <laughs> it's, it's like a very obvious answer. Mm -hmm. Like everyone knows the correct answer to that type of question. It's like a no brainer, but it's a lot harder when you're put in like a very customized situation right you feel better if the boyfriend was a bad boyfriend <laughs> that bad boyfriends so it, it pushes I'm, girls yeah. away and they then they lean on to that comfort like what I've heard a shoulder to cry on becomes a dick to ride on or whatever oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that <laughs> I never heard that either. Oh goodness, that was Kyle. <laughs> what do you think? It's for the show. Oh, that's not going on there. <laughs> <laughs>